In parametric modeling, dimensions and constraints are the key to establishing predictable and powerful design intent as you create sketches. The tools and techniques for defining sketches in Onshape are straightforward. Let's take a quick look. As you sketch geometry, constraints are added automatically, as you can tell by the snapping behavior when a line segment is created close to vertical or horizontal. You can also wake up inferences to other geometry simply by hovering your pointer over it, such as this line segment, or even wake up additional inferences such as this point so that this next endpoint of the line can be horizontal to the point, parallel to the segment, or even perpendicular to the segment while maintaining the horizontal constraint. I'll escape out of the line for a moment. You can always see what constraints have been added to any sketch entity simply by clicking on it and a small flag appears. When I roll over the flag, you can see the geometry highlight that has the constraint applied. To remove a constraint, you can just press delete on the keyboard while the constraint flag is selected. I'll click undo twice to bring back the constraint. And I'll reactivate the line sketch tool by clicking the icon on the toolbar. Automatic constraints are usually a convenient way to build in design intent while you sketch, but in case you ever want to avoid having the constraint added while you sketch, you can hold down the shift key on the keyboard when you click, and you can see that no constraints were added. You can of course add constraints manually by clicking on any geometry and using the constraint icons on the toolbar. I'll go ahead and add a circle to this sketch using an automatic midpoint constraint as you can see by the cursor feedback. And I'll make the two perpendicular lines equal length. The colors of sketch entities let you know what is fully defined or underdefined. Blue geometry is free to move, while black geometry is defined by either constraints or dimensions. That said, let's go ahead and add some dimensions here to fully define this sketch. Dimensions are added by clicking on any combination of lines, points, circles, arcs, etc. But before I type in a value here, I would like to point out a nice behavior here in Onshape. The first dimension you add to a sketch automatically scales the entire sketch. If you've ever created a sketch in other CAD systems and the items you sketched were significantly smaller or larger than the dimension value you added, you can probably relate to what a nice feature this is. And as you can see, all of the geometry and constraints behave predictably. You can always come back to make changes simply by double clicking on it, or in case you wish to delete the dimension, you can click on its leader lines to select it and press delete on the keyboard. Point-to-point -point dimensions can be added as vertical, true length, or horizontal by moving your pointer to the different positions. I'll add a couple more dimensions here. Just so you know, when you're dimensioning a circle, Onshape will add a diameter dimension. If it's an arc, Onshape adds a radius dimension to the geometry. And finally, when the sketch turns completely black, you know it is fully defined. Before wrapping up, let's take a quick look at what happens when you over-constrain the sketch. When I add one more dimension here, when I click to place it, some items in the sketch turn red. What's nice about this is that only the conflicting items turn red. So you can make an easy decision about what to keep and what to get rid of without troubleshooting the sketch to figure out what the problem is. I'll get rid of this dimension. And the sketch is now fully defined.